Hey guys, Ben Bergman coming to you from Santa Cruz, California. Um, tonight I'm going to do maybe one or two pull-ups, but not doing regular pull-ups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, ver a, a variation of towel pull-ups. And so I don't have I haven't, I haven't really seen much of this and I, I know mo a lot of you have already seen towel pull-ups anyway so um, what I'm going to do is I got my towel right here and so what I'm going to do is instead of just looping it around and doing like this what I'm going to be doing is just a warning my face is going to be covered up a little bit here so I'm going to Try to put the towel all over this these portions right here. So, so here, here is one way to get. Uh, I'm not the best at folding here, so bear with me. So, this is one way to get your grip strength. To get to gain some grip strength in your pull-ups and take it to a different level. So I'm gonna try to wrap the towel up here as much as I can. So and bear with me, I I did this earlier tonight, so <laughs> uh, my strength might not be <laughs> as efficient. Or and besides, I, ha I haven't been doing this very long, so. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to roll it up as much as possible. <laughs> and so so <laughs> you got it right here. I don't know how thick this really is, so <laughs> it's probably a little bit more than two and a half inch inches thick. And it's very slippery, so just gripping it alone is gonna. It's not gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, uh, really easy to do. So, and since I like to train my grip for uh, bending steel and ripping phone books, um, here's a really, really simple way to uh, to create your own thick bar pull-ups. So. Um, I'm going to try, I'm not going to go max out here, so, um, I don't think I can even max out anyway, so, but I'm going to, uh, and this is probably going to hurt a little for me, since I haven't, I just did this earlier, so I'm probably just going to do one, maybe one or two, and so, if you're brave enough to try these, I say go for it, if not, then don't do them, so, And so one way to make it, um, to make the thing a little bit more um, progressive, instead of rolling all the way up, you roll it down a bit to uh, decrease the uh, level of the um, diameter. So I'm probably, if you can see me, I'm probably just going to do maybe, you know, I'll roll it up and I'll show you guys can see me here. So, this feels a little bit more comfortable. So, let me do, just do one for you. Oh, ow, god damn. Man, that hurt. Ow. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hurts me a little bit so I don't recommend you doing these after you after you've done them after a while so I'm just showing you just to get just to get the feel for things and so or you could just hang since I'm not I'm hanging off my shoes here or off my toes or do isometrics or whatever, but yeah, I'm not gonna do it. 
So, <laughs> um, I guess just one chin up is good enough for me right now since I'm kind of burned out here a little bit. I might end up putting up a, another video just to put, um, maybe I might get more reps in and I'll show you, show you really how they work. So, just wanted to give you a demonstration on that. So, um, thanks for watching and, um, I hope to see some of your pull-up variations. So, see you later, guys.